Yo, what's up? It's Tim again, back with another video. Thanks for checking in, and please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. All right, so I missed y'all. I'm back. I uh, took the weekend off, and I cannot wait for this one, because in this video, I'm covering two game-changing topics. So listen until the end to get all of the life-changing benefits, because that's what I do here. I improve your life. On my birthday, my brother gave me a full-length mirror and a digital scale that records body fat percentage. I said, thank you so much, bro. See, he wasn't body shaming me. He was encouraging me because he loves me and wants me to be my best. Some people hear that and they think, he bought you a full-length mirror and a digital scale that records body fat percentage? <gasps> I say nay. Nay. Not shanay nay. I say nay as a no. Weigh yourself daily. When you aren't weighing yourself regularly, regularly, best believe you're gaining weight. I'm always generally happier when I weigh myself daily because I'm always working towards a better body weight. It may sound bad to say always be focused on your weight, but I'd rather have a healthy body weight than look in the mirror and be disappointed by my reflection. I've been overweight and I've been lean and leaner is better. You have to live in your body. So if someone else has something to say about how you treat your body when you're pursuing a fitness goal, I say, it's really none of your business what they think of you. If you've ever heard that, it's none of your business what other people think of you. That's their opinion, and they are entitled to it. You can't live off of what other people think of you. If they're really telling you weighing yourself daily is wrong, rest assured, it has more to do with them than with you. It's their insecurities. They're afraid of something you're doing. It doesn't have to be about your health. It doesn't even have to be that. Whenever anybody is starting to say, oh, no, that's wrong, or anything like that, like, a lot of times when someone sees someone else achieving something, it reminds them of their fear of the pain and struggle they'd have to endure to achieve what you're working towards. So if you see someone and they start getting after it, losing weight, eating right, their skin starts getting brighter, and they've been at it for, say, a month, six weeks, somebody that hasn't seen them in a while, they see them, they say, what have you been doing? Oh, I've been doing a lot of CrossFit, a lot of, a lot of kale shakes, a lot of squats. They're going to go, oh, oh, CrossFit's bad for you. You can get ribomyosis. It makes your muscles break down and then you pee brown Coca-Cola looking urine and that's your muscles breaking down and, uh, because of the, 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 the wads, the workout of the day, the wads. They're, they're too much, man. It's, you shouldn't do that. That's really wrong, you know. And it's like they know that they can't do CrossFit. They're scared. They don't wanna they don't wanna lift massive amounts of weight all the time and push themselves. So they project onto you. Maybe when they see you succeed, you make them feel anxious and make them question their own ability to succeed. Maybe they're afraid they're incapable. It doesn't have to be related to fitness, like I'm saying. I'm, I mean, I did say that. When someone changes their standards, it makes all the insecure people around them nervous. 
they're just like you. They're like the, they're like uh, what is it in Happy Happy Gilmore? Adam Sandler was like, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? Stop making fun of me. <laughs> that's what that's what they're doing. Here's the turn. You have to challenge yourself. You have to have a goal and a plan to reach the goal and be working on it. You have to. You say, I want to weigh this much. I want to achieve this. I want to run this race. I want to do this. I want to do that. You have to have a plan. You have to have a goal for the plan. And you got to be working on that because that will make you better. I love challenging myself. I need to get into like a road race. I need to I need to be doing a road race. I had said this a long time ago. I said, put my feet up, man. I'm getting comfortable with you guys. I love you. I said that I had to do half marathons. I had to be a half marathoner because running a half marathon guarantees that you are going to be lean. Like uh, for me, if I was just a regular half marathoner, because it's not more than a marathon. Marathon's too much. Marathon is a race of excess. It's for people who have a lot of abundance in their life. Because you have nothing but time to train and run exorbitant amounts of miles and stretch and do all the all the uh, recovery stuff. And um, yeah, you have to eat so much and run so much off to be skinny and spend all the time. It's just like it's a race of abundance. But if you run half marathons, it's going to get you all the same benefits with way less time and effort and it will keep you lean so I need to get myself back into that this 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 video actually just got me back on point more on that later but the thing is and I've run a few half marathons and I've run a marathon I love challenging myself because the challenge is something you're not sure you can do you, you have to be un, un like you think I, can, I think I can but I'm not sure I might be able to do it so that makes you go to a place where you're forced to grow. And when you're forced to grow, you grow. That's what we want. So you have to put yourself into this challenging situation. You make positive changes, and those changes change you as a person. If you want to become better, you got to put yourself into the fire a little bit. you got to go into that dark cave where there's that dragon. I love talking about this dragon, and all you have is a little wooden shield, and you got a burlap. You don't even have chain mail. You're not a knight. You're like you're a little a little serf, and if, in, uh, you know, and that's all you got. You're a little peasant. But those challenges, they change you. They change your future. You can. It's like I'm not saying you're time traveling, but you can change your future by what you do today. So you can change the. That, that's that's the coolest thing about now is you can change your future. Challenges. How do we manage our challenge? I said that was the turn earlier. So weigh yourself every day. That's going to help your body weight. I swear to you, your body weight's going to go down if you wait. If you know you got to weigh yourself every day, you're not going to have that extra hand candy bar. You're not. So weigh yourself every day. Number one. Number two. That turn. Challenge. Challenge yourself. How do we challenge? Now here is the thing I was telling you to wait for. Glad you're still watching. How do we manage our challenge? We check in. We check in with ourselves all the time. We check in. We check in. You have to do it at work during meetings. That's checking in. You know, the work meeting, homeroom and school, that's checking in. Wipe it one more time when there was no duty on the paper the first time you wiped. It's checking in. You got to do that second wipe. You wipe, it's like, there's, there, there's, no, there's no duty on the paper. I'm good. No, you got to do a second wipe because maybe, maybe you just missed. Maybe you just hit thigh and butt cheek. No, you got to wipe again. You got to check in. See, make sure there's no poop. Checking in. See, you, you, you got to do it in business. You're a business, fam. You got to do it. You got to do it too. You got to check in. I talk about drift a lot on this channel. Well, for some reason, we inevitably drift off course. We're at the mall trying to get some fresh kicks. Next thing we know, we got a cinnamon pretzel in our hand and a junior college dropout calling us sugar beard. We drifted. We drifted. I was I was trying to get the new I was trying to get the new uh you know Kevin Durant sneakers. I was trying to get the new Kyrie Irvings, and then all of a sudden 
Um, I got, I got, I got a Aunt Anne's pretzel in my hand. What's going on? Drift happens. I drift from the ideals I've set for myself, and they're very simple. I drift from those. The technique to avoid drift, which happens, is to check in. You got your challenge. You're trying to do it. All of a sudden, you start, you start drifting. You gotta be. You won't drift. You're checking in. Dr- checking in cancels out the drift. If you don't check in, you're going to drift. Checking in is just like brushing your teeth or exercising. Some of these things you do automatic. And you do we do it all the time without thinking about it. But the thing is, we have to start thinking about it regarding the things we're trying to do. The challenge. We have to set up checking in for the challenges so that that becomes automated. This is actually in the, uh, the I got the I got the book I got this from. It's called Willpower Doesn't Work. Give me a second here. Let's see if I can grab it. Oh God yeah. Oh God yeah. The studio's on fleek. Studio on fleek, son. Boom. Willpower doesn't work. Your willpower doesn't work. You have to have the stuff programmed. You got to program the stuff into you to where it becomes automatic. That way you can get the stuff done because you're going to you're going to mess up man so you we have to check in often with the things we're trying to do to the point where we automatically do it because it's not going to because you can't run on willpower all day you cannot do it that's why Steve Jobs was wearing black shirts because he was trying to not even use any of his willpower to make a decision about what shirt to wear because over time you you get decision fatigue so he just said, I'm not going to worry about it. That's what doing automating activities is all about. It's about making sure that we don't drift. See? So we check in. And we check in often and often and often enough. And then the thing ends up becoming automated. I've gotten to the point where I would be like, damn, I'm already at the gym 10 minutes into the workout before I realize what the hell's going on. I've gotten to that point before. You're already in the run before you realize you're like, oh my God, I'm here. I can't believe I'm even here. We check in with our bodies when we exercise. We check in with our mind when we meditate. We check in with our hearts when we listen to other people. When we listen, we listen with our heart. When we listen to other people and we give them our undivided attention and we focus on them with our eyes and we give them all of our attention, we are, that's charisma. That's power. We check in with these people. We check in with our souls when we listen. We got to check in. It's every day. It's important to check in. What if we don't check in? If you don't check in, then you're going to drift, and then you're not going to be on point, and you're not going to get to where you want to go, and, and, you, and you're definitely not going to get there quickly. You want to get there fast, right? You don't want to be old by the time you get there. So drift is our most natural. It's a natural thing. It's Drift is inevitable. It's a natural enemy. Drift is an example of resistance. And it's natural resistance, and that natural force exists in life, and it will move you off your path. You must stay focused by checking in to minimize drift. You will incur. If we don't check in, we'll get hit with the damn drift. Drift is the challenge to our discipline. Checking in keeps us disciplined. We check in daily so that we can maintain our challenge so that we don't drift. Weighing yourself every day is going to help you to maintain a healthy body weight. Be dedicated. Maintaining dedication is easier than having to build momentum. Don't drift away from a dedication to your diet and cardio. You got this. All right, y'all. Thank you. Don't remember to check Don't remember to uh, hit the notifications button, like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the help, all the love. Peace.